Good morning, family. It's like 7.10. I didn't want to get up. I was working late making videos, mostly for a camping channel, some reviews of a couple of campgrounds. Anthony making us run late. He's never ready when it's time to go. <laughs> Actually, it was me, but he's being silent over there because he's driving. Because parent life, you get to get chauffeured everywhere you're going. Uh, so um, we are headed down to Cooper City to do our last weekend of regular season games. So should be interesting. It is a very rainy day. Uh, when I left, Rachel was still sleeping, so you're going to get another one of those. Uh, she's doing her thing. I'm doing my thing this morning, and we'll get together when I get home somewhere around 2.30. I'm gonna start my day off as Anthony is sweating us out with the heat on. Uh, I'm having one of those big long meat sticks we get from Costco. And now he's turning on the air conditioner, which is gonna ruin my sound, but that's okay. And then I'm having a piece of the Maria Emmerich bread with just a little bit of butter. So we will check in with you guys later. So we are here. It's gonna be a rainy, rainy day. Hopefully we get out of here early because the teams decide we're just gonna run the ball. Uh, so this is the last week of regular season. Uh, first game means absolutely nothing. Second and third game should be really, really good. And then the fourth game should be a running clock. Hopefully we're out of here by two o'clock. Good morning. It is Saturday. It's about 9.45 in the morning. I could not get to bed last night. Um, cause I was still excited from the dinner that I went to. And so I slept probably until like 845. It felt great. I feel terrible though, that Joe and Anthony had to get up so early, but Caleb and I, we slept in. He's actually still asleep in his room next door. We're in the she shed. Charity is not supposed to be in the she shed because she leaves hair everywhere, but She's so cute and she wants to cuddle and it's kind of a rainy morning, so I'm all about it. We're gonna start with some coffee in my Haunted Mansion mug. And I've got a pat of butter, cause I brought home the, the little squares of butter from last night's dinner, cause they were just gonna throw them out anyway. And I'm like, I'll use the butter. And I have one egg blended up in here. So that should be fun. After, the premiere, which we're gonna have at 10 a.m., I'm very excited about that. I somehow need to figure out how to fold 40 of these in such a way that they will create blocks for church. But that looks like a lot of folding, like an origami amount of folding. So we'll see how successful I am with that. I will probably bring Caleb in on this one. So we are at halftime of the third game, moving right along. Rain has been on and off, but no lightning. So it's been pretty good. Uh, you know, we get wet, then it gets steamy, then when it gets wet, then we get steamy. But so long as it doesn't lightning, I'm fine with getting wet. So games are over. Rain actually stopped. So we had rain for the first game and then I think the third game and the rain went away. Overall, not bad. We had a little bit of problem with some coaches, but nothing horrible. So Anthony just took me over to Crocs because I wanted to get a set of water shoes and I ran into this really good deal. They had a bunch of their clearance stuff and the clearance was then buy one, get one free. So I got a bunch of stuff for Rachel, like five or six pairs of shoes. Actually five pairs of shoes for her and then one pair for her mom. What are you doing? I was just taking the paint off of my toenails so I can get some Halloween toenails. I got you a present, wanna see? Crocs? Yeah. Oh my gosh, is this like a $50 million bag? Hey baby. Hello. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. 
Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. This is becoming a habit of like doing the intro halfway the through the vlog. <laughs> it's just how the days roll. So I went over to the church, you went to games. I had games, I had four games starting at 8 a.m. You look pretty good for somebody who's been doing this all day. Well, they were all horrible games, like running clock games, no issues, except for some of the assistant coaches coaches were out of control, cursing at officials, and they need to learn that they're not allowed to talk to us. Only the head coach can talk to us. And so, uh, yeah, few of them drew flags. Some of them are NFL players, which is, I think that that's where they are learning it from. I don't what? know. In one of the games, we actually told them they were like dropping F-bombs at their players, seven-year-olds. And we said, hey, you can't curse. He's like, I'm, coach I'm cursing at my players. I'm like, you still can't do that if I can hear it. The other players on the other team can hear it. And seven-year-olds don't need to hear F-bombs. Well, no, I don't think their parents should appreciate that. I would be livid I would, don't if a coach was to talking child. to my seven-year-old the way these coaches were. No. And they're like, well, that's how you motivate them. Really? Because you lost by 40 points. Do you I get, don't think you're motivating do your Do you kids. get motivated by someone cursing at you? Yeah. Leave in the comments down below. <laughs> so. So, yeah, but overall, I mean, we started the first game in the rain, then the sun came out, so now it's steamy. Yeah. Then it rained again, and then the sun came out, so it was one of those, you're wet, you're dry, you're wet, you're dry, I'm all day sorry. long. But on the way home, uh, we stopped at Crocs at the Sawgrass Mall because I wanted to get water shoes for the keys. I wanted to go to Oakley, but Anthony wouldn't let me go because he's like, he's got another game. He's got to go all the way back down there oh, for a varsity no. game tonight. So he was like, I want to go home. I'm like, I got you out of here 45 minutes early. I want to go to Crocs. And I was getting shoes for myself. I'm going to show you what I got for myself. These are cool. Oh, those are pretty. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're, they're like... Chris has something similar. Yeah, they're not water shoes, but they are water shoes. They're all plastic, so you can get them super wet. They're not going to let as many rocks in. Yeah, that's why I got them. I had to pay full price for these, but it was the clearance store. But these are called the Light Ride Crocs. Nice. But they had a great deal. It was buy one on the clearance. Right. So all of the clearance stuff was then buy one, get one free. It's interesting. So I went nuts for you. We really get blessed here in Florida because even though we wear sandals year round, it's Florida. Right. Right. We only have a couple of days where you honestly have to wear closed toe shoes with socks because your feet are cold. Right. Usually, I mean, you can wear sandals all the time. But if the company is not based in Florida, they clearance out in Florida just like they clearance out everywhere else. So in right. Target, for instance, you can't buy a fan in the middle of the winter in Target because I think it's Minneapolis that they're based out of. Right. So they, you know, they merchandise based on where they're based, which is right. a cold weather state. And so here, you know, everything gets clearanced out and we're like, Dude, we are in a swimming pool all year round, so we yeah. love it when like they clearance. They really out. didn't have any guys clearance stuff, but they had a bunch for you, so I went a little nuts. Okay. Um, problem is, is you're like an eight and a half, and they have like eight and nine. And it's eight or nine. I'd rather go. Bigger. And after I bought everything, she goes, "Oh, by the way, all the clearance stuff, non-exchangeable, non-returnable." It's okay. So I bought you nines. That's good. I'd rather have bigger because if it's too small, you can't do anything. So, but if a flip flop is too big, I'm still cool well, with it. I, I got these, um, but these are actually a present for somebody. So we can't show those. Don't look. <laughs> so I got you these. Oh, that's nice. So do you like um, flip flops that, that go through your toes or do you like the ones that just slide you on? You don't mind them. I don't mind them. I can't. Well, I can't take them because of my ankle. I walk funny. My and, mom's and not a break. fan of the toe ones, but I like them and I love the colors. So these were whatever the regular price is. And then the outlet store price was right. $45. And then they were marked down to $30. And then buy one, get one free. I love it. So I got you those. $15 a shoe. That's like Bell's outlet prices. I got you these. Ooh, these are a perfect pumpkin-y color. And again, these were the outlet store price, $45, marked down to $30. I'm excited about these. So th these and those, $15 that a That seems like Thanksgiving in Florida to me. I got you these. Oh, nice. So these, I'm a pinky girl. These were, the the, the, the outlet store is 25 down to 20. And then half off of that. Well, no. Well, buy one, get one. Buy one, get one. But I think that was the cheapest pair. 
Um, we used to poop on Crocs so badly, like we used to make fun of them. They look so silly, but they've got some cool. And then we shoes started now. wearing them, and I'm like, yeah. So then I got you these. Oh, I love this. Now I will wear this like a dress shoe, and I'm always looking for a navy shoe. Navy shoes that are comfy are hard. It's like you either have a stiletto, which I'm not great in. I'm like shaky calf syndrome legs. Or their grandma shoes. Yeah. And I'm not there either. So this is super So I cute. know I went nuts, but like Thank that's you. what happens when we find a clearance deal. But then you don't have to buy shoes for you like a long time. You don't have to buy shoes. And then I finally, I got you. Now talk about something that looks like a dressy shoe. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Yeah. You just have to buy them in two so you get the and free. That That's the deal. I love it. And then we got these, which for are for like, your mom. Yeah. So. I like that you think of your mother-in-law. <laughs> I think that's so cute. Okay, so what do you got over there? I got you a present. Two okay. packages of present. These are some marrow bones. They were selling them at oh, Publix. Oh, that good bone broth. I just went up to um, the butcher that was there, or the meat department manager, and I was like, I got a crazy question. Do you have marrow bones? He's like, yes, we do. They're $2 and change a pound. How much would you like? So we're going to try it. I mean, we could eat some... That eat would make good bone broth. I really want the long ones that you cut down the middle. But I'm... And then eat... Just eat all of the it's stuff It's good inside. to get but we started. we can do it this way. We could probably put it in the pressure cooker or roast we're it in the roast oven. Them. I'm going to roast them in the oven. Yeah. See what happens. So. Um, okay. I'm hungry. Yeah. I had a meat stick and a piece of Maria Emmerich's protein spurring bread with a little bit of butter on it. That's I a, what I ate today. I had a coffee with a... a, a tab of that butter that I that I take took from last night's dinner and um, an egg okay blend it up so uh, I'm gonna take a shower and uh, we're gonna make a roast so it's gonna be about an hour and a half or so before dinner I can handle um, it I'm gonna paint my toes you're gonna oh are you painting your toes oh well you can paint them if you don't mind oh okay I'll do that uh, did you premiere yesterday's video? I did and I've got three other videos that I need to take a look at first that, that did you, you watch got the done? autumn one so that i can put it up for our patrons and our channel members. halfway i will okay. i will finish it but what because they want to see it early caleb and i had to put those blocks together uh -huh. and i thought there's well, another box up in the front i totally finished it we took it to church oh and did i just it. saw another box i thought oh, there's another one there should be two boxes yep we did both oh because there's a box sitting at the front still oh okay i don't know what it's from but it is but it, it took us a while. Yeah. It was definitely a two-man project. And I will say, we got one that was like a knockoff Melissa and Doug brand. Right. And then we got Melissa and Doug. And I will say that the Melissa and Doug cardboard blocks were way easier to put together than the knockoff brand. The knockoff ones look like they were sturdier, though. He Caleb said that he liked the knockoff ones only because they came in different shapes that he thought were interesting. Yeah, that's why I bought them. They're like round pillars and things like that. But the the as far as like mama bear putting it together and i do highly recommend that if there is a toddler or preschooler in your life even that uh, you're looking to buy something for christmas the melissa and doug cardboard blocks they really they, they all of those up. cardboard blocks i mean we've we've used all the different brands in church they Kids really love last them. we're just in the middle of a construction series so we need fun. a lot of them but they are really good because they're big and they can build things and with them. And the kids love being able to make big towers and then knock them down. I mean, that's and it's what just kids a cardboard love. box. And it won't hurt them at all. And they're pretty sturdy. Like you, I've seen, they show the pictures and I've seen kids in church doing it because they're kids. Yeah. Where you can, once you put it together, you can you actually it stand on it. It won't collapse. I mean, Especially they're very sturdy. for preschool and elementary. And I would say that we have had our current set since 2018. Yeah. Because that's when we got what we got. Well, we hadn't been before that because we had we bought them in the last time we did the construction, construction series, series, which was like 2017. Well, but what I was saying is like, I remember we got some Ikea ones too. Yeah. The, they were scary low. The they problem like with the Ikea stuff on it. was like, they were very cheap, but yes, every side of it was either like an eye for a Kraken, a chess piece. And like, I mean, weird monsters. And so I didn't notice until we put them together. Like, ooh, there's some ugly stuff on the sides yeah, of this. Scary for a four-year-old. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm going to take a shower. We're going to get the roast going. I got to get the grill going. And uh, I need to edit yesterday's vlog so that we can put that one up tonight. And just a reminder, if you didn't see the other vlog or the one that I'm about to edit. We'll be live. We will be doing Keto on the Couch live on Monday at 10 a.m. And Keto on the Couch is going to be live for a while. 
unless we happen to be out of town, at which point we would be pre-recording it. Right. Like whenever possible, we're going to do it live. That's going to free up time on editing and stuff like that. To do more stuff. To do more stuff. I so appreciate, oh my gosh, the comments from the channel members and patrons like, please do this. Don't even give us more videos. Just take time for yourself. So I really appreciate You guys are that. the awesomest. Okay, Kamado Joe is up to 300 degrees. We're going to go ahead and get this thing going. So we're going to rotisserie it. I'm going to put this on here. We've got our meter probe in there already. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. Close it up. Should take uh, about an hour, hour and a half to get going. Okay, meter probe says it is done. Let's go ahead and check it because we're gonna have to let it rest anyway. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's check it with this probe. Wow, it's saying, this is saying it's overcooked. We're gonna go ahead and take it off. So since we have the barbecue going and Rachel bought these marrow bones, we're gonna try to roast these right here in the Kamado. Let these go for about a half hour. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I just got done premiering our very first Two Crazy Campers premiere from uh, Kelly Park when uh, we stayed there recently. And I forgot how much I love that park. I know, I was editing the video and I want to go back. I know, we need to go back there. Uh, the roast is done, I think I overcooked it. It cooked like, it was supposed to be take like an hour Lickety and a half. Split. And it looks like it cooked in about 35 minutes. So I'm super hungry. Maybe so my I'm probe is it. off, I don't know. Let's, Your let's, probe is off? Let's go ahead and check it. So it looks delicious, but let's see if it's overcooked. Mm. Looks good. The only way you can really know is by tasting it. Oh, that's perfect. Looks nice and fatty. Probably what could have been a little bit rarer, but no, I think that's pretty good. I'm not angry at it. Is this coming my way? I think it's delicious. I mean, I still got blood. I like your shoes, are they comfy? They are very comfortable. Uh, I actually need to go and uh, move the trailer while I was doing my game. Uh, the lady called me and said that, like, you're parked in someone else's spot. And I'm like, I know, but there was a big excavating machine. In my spot. In my spot, and nobody was in the office at 12 o'clock on Thursday. She was like, I was in the office. I'm like, it was all locked up, but I was banging on the door. So I told her I'd come move it after my game. Maybe I want to go ahead lunch. and try this. Yeah, the, the temperature probe, the meter said it was perfect. My temperature probe must be off because when I probed it, it said it was like 140 degrees and this does not look like this, uh, medium well. This is pretty good though. Mm-hmm. You wanted medium well? No, I wanted like medium rare. I'd say it's like a good medium, maybe between medium rare and medium. Mm-hmm. You know what it is though? You see how it's like pink in the middle. Right. The edge is cooked. That's because I didn't let it come to room temperature long enough because we wasn't were, home. Right. We were in a rush to eat, so I came home and only sat out for about 20 minutes. Well, so that makes a difference. So you want to bring it up to like a good hour. Yeah. Take it out of the refrigerator a good hour, hour and a half. Let it come up to room temperature because then you'll get that, mm. you know, like pink all the way from edge to edge. Mm. But when you have the inside of the meat is 50 degrees and you're cooking it, of course it's going to cook the outside. And in the mid middle, so you're going to get that longer cook in the outside. Well, I'm enjoying it right where it is right now. This one's good. We're gonna we're gonna get that rotisserie down perfect before oh, we're yeah. done. I mean, this is a lifelong meat adventure now. So yeah, mm -hmm. you're gonna be you're gonna have many times to get it right. And these roasts were so cheap; they were like four dollars a pound. I actually want to go get more because these are so. And I love roast beef. 
I don't like store-bought roast beef though. I really like roast beef also. And this, you make a couple meals out of it. Mm -hmm. Even for us, we right. eat a, a crazy amount of food. So I gotta show you something. So I bought you Crocs. And then when I was there, I signed up for the Crocs Club. Oh. It's like their, you know, earn points kind of thing. Okay. And it gave me a 25% off coupon for online. So I bought myself a new pair of Crocs. Because the dog has chewed a lot of my Crocs. He has. Want to see what or I got? she has. You're going to be super jealous. What is You're it? You're going to wish you could have this one pair over your three pairs. What is it? <gasps> is that Star Wars ones? Uh-huh. They make Star Wars ones for adults. Look at that. It's like Grogu. That is really cool. It's like Mandalorian. It's all Mandalorian. Look at that. Mando, Grogu. Mando shoes. So 25% off on their website. So why not? Uh, this is really good. This is really good. So I coated the entire outside with Redmond's, the um, organic. I love that organic. I'm in, like, in love with that stuff. Right. It's my new favorite seasoning. I'm putting it on everything. I even put it on top of the Maria Emmerich protein bread. I loved that. I love that you did that. It, it, it just so good. It, it makes it so tasty. Mmm. This is like really good. This is good. So I'm going to finish eating. And, move the trailer. And then I'm going to go move the trailer. And while I'm moving the trailer, I want you to preview day 34 mm -hmm. so that we can premiere that tonight. Okay. So I came up to move my trailer and the new person who is parking next to me, they parked in my spot. So I parked in their spot. This is becoming like the shell game. We just keep moving things around and moving things around. You know, the problem is, is they did some road work here and then they pushed all of their debris up against the fence and now that's making me stick out about three more feet and they also allowed a big rig to come and park in here so he's sticking out about 10 feet into the road which makes it very difficult for me to back my trailer up because I need to swing it a certain way meanwhile I'm now parked again in the wrong spot and I'm leaving on Monday I tried to call them and there was no answer but one of the people who work here, they live on site and she happened to be crossing the street. So I told her like, listen, they're parked in my spot. I'm gonna park in their spot. I will come up first thing Monday morning, like, you know, seven, eight o'clock. Hopefully they move and then I'll move my trailer back to where it belongs. But I told her like, I'm going out of town at like 1130 on Monday and I will not be back until Wednesday night. So either we leave it there or you know, we'll have to figure something out because I'm, I'm not going to be able to move the trailer after Monday, at least until Wednesday or Thursday. Hopefully this gets figured out soon. What are you doing? Listening to this annoying woman. What, are you watching a video? I am. I'm previewing a video. Are you getting sick of watching us? Just Rachel. Just Rachel? Is she a little annoying? She's she quirky. Is. She dresses weird. She's a weirdo. She's got a funny sense of humor. She's gorgeous. I think you're a little biased. But yeah, I'm excited. So it's funny. I'm like, you know, saying in the video, we're going to have a second day tomorrow. We're going to have two premieres. And I'm like, and, and in the video, I'm getting excited. I get to see you twice. And then I find myself getting excited. Like, I get to see people twice. So yeah. Okay, so I stopped. It's it's petty night. And I got we're gonna this. be really petty with each other. I oh, you petty cure. Yeah, I got you one of those. Thank you. We may wear it out with your feet. Ah, uh, there was so many like fish pedicure places in Las Vegas. I feel like all of the fish in Las Vegas only eat dead heel skin, and like that's all they get access to. I got you some really fancy nail polish. Oh, I love. That's the gel stuff, but instead of a UV light, you put this stuff on it. Oh, wow. So we'll try that. I'm excited because I got new flip-flops to wear, and yeah, that's what, I mean, you did this to yourself. You bought me flip-flops, and now I have to do my toes, otherwise my feet are going to look hideous. I'm going to go check on the marrow bones, and then we can get started on your feet. It could take a few hours. Okay, I have to have the light off on the outside, otherwise uh, the chickens will come out. Let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, look at that. That looks so amazing. So I need to check on the chickens. And I turn the light on, of course, now they're all going to come out like that. But two of the babies, they're not going in the hen house. They're, look at this. I don't even know how they're getting up there. 
but there they are. Look at them, they're up there. Can you guys come down, please? Please come down. Chick, 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 come here. Come on. You don't belong up there. The marrow bones are done. Are they? I am so ready. I really want to try them. I didn't I hope make they any come for you. Well. I only made enough for me. Right. Those look really pretty. So we roasted them like 325 degrees in the uh, Kamado Joe. Ooh. Gotta do this. Pure mm. fat. There is such a beef flavor. If you are not That's confused. Tallow, basically. I mean, it is just like beef. Okay. Ooh, look at that. That looks really good. We should probably get some plates. That would probably be good. Here you go. How long did you roast them for? I don't know. Like I an honestly, hour? Two hours? No. Five just, hours? Just probably maybe an hour. Okay. Just like while I was doing the trailer. Huh. Let's see what we're working with here. This. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be eating ugly. This is amazing. And it was really inexpensive. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it just melts. Yeah. But I mean, let's face it, this is collagen. Yeah. Now if you can get the ones like the whole marrow bone, like not yeah. cut like this. And then just ha have the butcher split it down the middle. And then it becomes like a boat. Oh, wow. And you can just scoop it out. Oh my gosh. But here's what we're gonna do. This is amazing. Oh, look, this has got a piece of beef on it. Oh yeah. This is like a treasure hunt. You just wanna dig around in it. And do this. Take that. Oh wow. Soak up all that. Don't miss any of it. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh yeah. Put a little bit of Redmond on it. Salt. What are you doing with a spoon? I just love that that's, little spoon. That's not how you you as it's a so chef. Cute. Who put fine salt in here? I'm a diner. I'm gonna go like this. Mmm. Wow, that's good. That is incredible. I'm gonna try the bread. Get some more on, on both sides. Super flavorful. Um. Mmm. Wow. Flavor I feel like town. this is completely inappropriate. But... I know. We're just like eating. Look at that. Mmm. Wow. The only problem is these small ones. What am I gonna do to get it out? I Fish guess you around. use a chopstick. Fish around. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna stab it. So we're gonna have a premiere. I set it for eight o'clock. Okay. What time is it now? 7.40, be just enough time to dig for all the treasure in here. Mmm. It's a little messy. It's like That's eating right. crab. Oh, I'm taking this one. But see, wait. I was eyeing that one for sure. Then you go in here and scrape up. No, uh, you want the, the crunchy stuff. I want it on my bread. No. You want to roast that and let it all get hard in the pan. Oh my god. But then we won't be able to clean the pan. Right. Look at this one. Look at that. That is amazing. Mmm. 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 You want to know how to get collagen? This is all collagen. Yeah. All collagen. This is incredible. So, as we make a mess. Right. And we don't have any napkins. Reminds me. Somebody put a comment up that they started BBBE. 
Welcome. And, and a few days in, they started experiencing hair loss. Mm. So, uh, and so they're, they're thinking about leaving it because they want to go back to their college in. Mm-hmm. So here's my personal opinion. And again, We're not we are not doctors or nurses or health professionals of any sort, but you wouldn't see hair loss from not eating enough collagen that quickly. Right. Plus on BB and E, uh, you're getting a lot of protein and collagen if you're doing it properly. Cause there's collagen in the beef. You can chew on the fat and on the gristle and the stick. You don't even have to swallow it, but if you just chew on it, you're right. going to be releasing that collagen. At doing this kind of stuff, you're going to get more than enough collagen. So, possible that you may be deficient in vitamins somewhere else, mm-hmm. or maybe you're just under eating. But I find I feel like it's probably a coincidence. You wouldn't have a sudden hair loss that quickly. Not not six or seven days in. But yeah. Again, not doctors or health professionals, but if you're doing BBB in E properly, you are getting more than enough protein and collagen to keep your hair going. In fact, I would say be careful because you're going to be growing a mustache because the <laughs> hair is growing everywhere. The hair, yeah. I mean, you did my back, which looks amazing, <laughs> and it feels amazing. I'm glad. I'm not. I don't have a sweater on anymore. Right. Congratulations. I'm gonna have to go buy a sweater for the winter now. <laughs> Um, but it's like already growing back after just two days. And, and usually that nair, it, it takes a week or so, for, at least on my back. To have anything come back. To have anything coming back. So you're getting a lot when you're eating this. And at the same time, I want to say, I don't know. You need to let me know down in the comment section because I'm starting to question my progress. Mm. I'm editing videos. I don't see a difference. You don't see a difference? No. I don't see a difference in me. Is there I a do. difference? Mm-hmm. I do. I feel really good. Isn't and, that enough of a difference? And honestly, if at the end, if I don't gain and I don't lose. But you felt great and you've eaten Even if amazing. I stayed the same, that would be a win for me. Yeah. Because again, the whole point of the challenge was you won't gain fat. Not right. gain weight. You won't gain fat. So if I can eat this much food and, and sit here and spoon bone you know, like marrow. beef bone marrow and, and fat mm. into my body and not gain weight, I'm a happy camper. Pretty impressed. So yeah. Um we're gonna you wanna premiere and then we'll kinda close this one out. Sounds good. I, think I honestly this is delicious, but it's like not a lot of food. It's just kind of like a fun thing. It's really to play fun. With. It's delicious. Um, so I made we have a bunch of that ground beef left over from that. Oh <gasps> in the yes. Pour this over the ground beef. Yes. Stop sucking it up. No more bread. <sighs> that was a good premiere. That was so much fun. Talk about moisturizer though, is this. Well, yeah. I could not. I was trying to get into the premiere, but I needed to like wash my hands first, and I was washing them and washing them and washing them and washing them. It was like still greasy. So what I did was I put the pan into the toaster oven because it was while well, it was already like getting like like solidified. Right. So by putting it in there, it all basically turned to liquid again. I am loving this meatloaf mix. From it is Aldi. really good. I think I have two left. Super flavorful. And it wasn't expensive. No, well, it was special. All it of was our meat 70% is kinda off. Special. But no, even regular price. I mean, I guess, I mean, it was like the price of ground beef, regular price, like, you know, $4 a pound. But 70% off, kind of hard to ignore. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at because all of this fat. It just tastes like beef. It's just a solid beef taste to it, which yeah. is amazing. Because I'm expecting it to just taste like, you know, It's like gravy grease. for our ground beef. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh. And then, take that. Look at all the crumblies. It's like liquid gold. Probably a super annoying sound though. Mm. Oh my gosh, wait. Pass me a spoon because I know you're in heaven over there, but like. I gotta give you a piece of this. Just a little piece. Because you got 
Like the That is like eating sugar. Mm. That is delicious. That is so good. Wow. Thank you. So good day, full day. Mm hmm A full day of eating and a full day in general. Let me try this. I have not even showered yet today. I was wondering what that smell that's is. That's where we're at. Like, too busy, but that's all right. Is it as good as I thought it was gonna be? That just elevated this ground beef. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Talk about a true hamburger helper. Wow. That, that, is, that is delicious. Mmm. So. Flavor time. Not to throw more stuff into today's vlog. Too late. But I was pulling comments for Keto on the Couch. Yeah. Because even though we're going to do it live, I still got to pull all the comments. Right. And that takes a while. It takes about an hour or so. Uh, somebody uh, had, I don't remember who it was, but they had a question uh, that they've been doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs for about six, day, six days, and they're really grumpy mm. and lethargic. Okay. So again, I know we already said it in this video, but not doctors or nurses or health professionals. I mean, she's wearing her hat on backwards for some reason, which I don't even understand. I don't know. For some reason, I needed my bill out of my way, and now it's just it's just staying that way. So, anyway, um, I have a feeling your electrolytes are really low. So if you're getting if you're grumpy and having headaches and lethargic. That's usually a good sign of electrolytes. So if if you went from, you know, eating other foods and, and having some vegetables possibly and maybe using stevia sweetened electrolytes and now all of a sudden you're only eating this, your electrolytes are probably low. Your sodium is probably low. I would definitely try bumping up your electrolytes. Also, if you're just grumpy, maybe you're still hungry. This may be a Rachel thing. And not an anybody else thing, but I'm just gonna put it out there. Okay. Sometimes I'm grumpy because I miss what I like. Yep. And on a challenge, I'm not happy. Like I'm not happy because I want like a sweetener in my coffee, but I said I wasn't gonna do it. So it's like I'm doing what I said I would do, but I'm like not super thrilled. Like I'm just until I get into the habit of it, like I'm gonna tell you, the first couple days without a zip fizz, I was straight off ticked right like just ticked right because i just wanted my stuff and i i mean i probably asked you four or five times at least in that first week what do you think dr berry really thinks about sweetener like do you think he really 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 thinks we shouldn't have the sweetener like i just kept asking and asking it wasn't because i didn't know the answer right. it was because i was not pleased with the response right that's it and again i mean six days is it's not enough time to get off of our addiction. I mean, I know that sounds bad, but it takes three weeks to make something a habit, which is one of the reasons that we had chosen 25 days at minimum to be able to do it between the shows. It's a habit now. I mean, we're, yeah. we're what, 35 days in. But I wasn't and, like... And it, it's a habit now. Super and we're happy enjoying to start. It, but the first week or two, I mean, the food was good. Mm -hmm. But there's definitely like a lot of, I want this mm. and I want that and I want this. But honestly, like if you're feeling lethargic and headaches and stuff, there's a good chance that your electrolytes are low. Yeah. Um, also, I had seen from somebody else saying like they think they're gaining, they're gaining weight. Like pants don't fit like right and they're gaining weight. Um, again, could be electrolytes. So my personal experience is low electrolytes equals gaining weight on the scale not necessarily gaining fat could be fat but gaining weight like water weight so dr cyrus had that great video out about um you know salt and blood pressure and all that and one of the things he said in there that that's just stuck in my not mind now is that you know the salt and the water they go hand in hand and so the water chases the salt so if you don't have enough salt in your body, your body's going to try to retain as much as possible because it needs it. Right. While when it retains it, guess what else it's going to retain? The other thing that we experienced is we've lost weight 
here down mm -hmm. and as we've lost weight things have shifted so we would see like i saw it first and i started to panic a little bit i saw changes up here in the top half of my body but it was as if that like the skin that had now been emptied of the fat had rolled down and my pants did fit differently right and it freaked me out a little bit right because it felt like oh this feels tight that eventually like goes away as it continues like moving down. But even you had said like my my shirt feels completely better, but my oh, pants I'm feel wearing weird. medium shirts, but my pants are no right. looser. You know, but that does that make sense? I mean, the skin again, went somewhere. I feel like my face is thinner. Um, <laughs> my shirts are definitely looser because I'm wearing mediums now. I mean that that keto um, Las Vegas shirt that I was wearing yesterday's vlog. That's a medium. Yeah. And it fits, whereas there was no way. I, I was borderline back into extra larges before, so. But the skin had sh has shifted. Yeah, well, I definitely got some, like, that, we, we, I'm not going to show it again, believe me. Nobody wants to see it again. But the jigglies around my belly, whereas before that was hard. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, I could squeeze the pants in now, whereas I couldn't squeeze the pants before. But things fit different. But things are definitely fitting different. But again, I've lost a lot of girth up on top. Right. So those are just some things to think about. You definitely need to give it time. But yeah, my personal experience is low electrolytes will lead to some water weight gain, which can be very frustrating, which is, again, why we're telling everybody you can do what you want. That's what Dr. Barry said to me. Yeah. He's like, you're an adult man, Joe, and you can go 30 days without stevia, even though I don't want to. And mm. we, we have to make our own decisions. We're never going to tell anybody what to do. We're going to tell you what we're doing. We're going to tell you what was recommended to us. We're going to tell you what we recommend. Yeah. But ultimately, you have to make your own decisions because your you're going to do it your way, your journey. Yeah. We highly recommend staying off the scale, especially yes. if you're doing this, because the scale is going to fluctuate. And, and that fluctuation you is will going respond to upset to it. you. Well, and you might respond to it mm -hmm. like and just give up or try to... Basically just like calorie restrict, but keep these foods. Right. And you're just going to be miserable. Right. You know, now somebody did ask me that, um, about what do you do with the skin as the skin like loosens? What, what was my recommendations? I'm a big fan of compression type outfits, even undergarments. And, um, as I've lost the weight, I slept in a bathing suit. Remember that? Like I was to sleep as a, in a bathing suit because, you know, going from nearly 300 pounds, to 150 pounds like that is you know a lot is changing right. and the skin has to go somewhere and i just find that it's helped to direct it now i will say the first time rachel lost weight not on keto mm -hmm. the excess skin was awful horrible no elasticity at all yeah i mean it was really bad and this time around it's it's much tighter mm -hmm. and that is something that dr barry has talked about and that's something that dr cyrus and other people have talked about it's going to take a couple of years. It's getting but better it every does, year. It gains, it gains a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you start losing up because your skin does die off and fall off. And it gets a little bit tighter and a little bit tighter and a little bit tighter. You know, you still may have some of that little bit of visceral fat or whatever that's still, like, hanging on the skin. Uh, you're gonna, It will eventually go away, you know. But well, those are just things to think about. I may always wave at you twice. Like this and like this. But you know what? I love you. Yeah. And it's okay. It's okay that, that I have skin. We're going to like Rachel right where she's at. I'm not going to not gonna hate on me just because I have loose skin. Are you ready for a petty night? Well, let's end this That walk. seems like like bitter, petty. No, like pedicure. Pedicure. Petty night. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give cure, you a pedicure. Cure the pettiness with okay. a pedicure. With that being said, we're going to end the vlog. Uh, tomorrow's church day. Mm -hmm. This is the day where we're missing keto chow. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, just a busy day. Got Long day. we got to power through it, though. And we don't usually eat breakfast because we get up too early to even do that. I'm leaving the house at like 6. <laughs> right. So if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.